In today's tutorial, I will illustrate how to draw an iPod in Inkscape version 0.45. Let's begin. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do, since I'm going to be drawing in white, I want my background to be dark. So I'm going to go to the file, document properties, background color, and I'm going to adjust these slider bars until I get something dark here. Right on to do. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do draw a rectangle okay I'm just gonna true this up just a little bit this won't be a 100 percent you know accurate representation of an iPod we're just gonna get this thing close so uh, close enough should be good enough here and I'm also making these radii around here 40 pixels by 40 pixels. Okay, that gives us the body. The next thing I'm going to draw is uh, the screen. And I'm going to change my screen radii to 10 by 10. And I'm going to make the fill dark and the stroke dark. I'm using Tango uh, color theme here, or color palette I guess. Okay, we'll move this over. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and align this up. Do last selected. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll bump this up just a tad. There we go. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is draw a square. And I want to make sure that I have no radii on the corners. And I want to make sure that my stroke is turned off, so we'll just remove the stroke. And anybody with an iPod knows what I'm talking about here. Okay, we'll get this just a little bit more there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and align both of these. There we go. That's pretty good right there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, just for now, I'm going to go ahead and turn this background blue so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this. Some dark gray here. Okay. Now we'll take this bar up here and we'll give it a gradient. We're going to edit our gradient and turn the transparency off. There we go. I can turn this back to white here. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is add some text. We'll select our text tool and I want to write something like iPod on here. And we'll select our text dialog. And we'll go pick something that looks similar to iPod text. Make it bold. 24 ought to get it. There we go. This would be kind of small on the screen here. Go ahead and align this up. Okay, I'm going to copy this text. I'll duplicate it. Make sure I pick the text here. And I'm going to have to zoom in. Okay, we'll select our text tool again. 
And this time we're going to write our menu structure. Make sure you spell things right. Okay, I think there's an extras. There's a settings. And I think there's a shuffle songs. That should be close enough. We'll do an apply, a close here. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and just bump this right here for now. We'll come back to it. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this. Change its color to blue. I'm gonna move it down and I'm gonna line it to the bottom of this gray tab. We're gonna send it behind our text. I'll do this right here, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna duplicate this text, slide it over. I'll replace all this stuff. Okay, I'll just slide this over. Okay, I think we're getting close. Now I'm gonna draw the battery uh, indicator. We'll draw in green. So I'm just gonna draw some rectangles and some squares here. I'll line these two together. And I'll just push this in a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and do a union on this. And we're gonna give this a stroke. Scale this down just a little bit. Okay, now I wanna change the stroke size to a two. Still a little big. And I'll align this to our gray bar. Okay, and we'll make this a gradient. Do an edit. Take our last stop, kind of white here, and then we'll change our gradient. Let's go just a little bit darker here. There we go. Let me zoom in on the, out on this and see where we are here, okay? I think next we need to draw our dial. So what I'll do is hold the control key down to get this thing round. Okay, we'll make our stroke. Well, actually, let's, let's turn our color off here, our stroke off. And we're going to make it white. But before we do that, we got to see it here. So I'm going to line these things together. I can center them up. Okay, let me duplicate this. Change its color. And I'm going to do a dynamic offset. Okay, I'll push this behind one step. Okay, let me fix this dynamic offset here. Just a little bit more. Okay, now I'll push it behind. There we go, that's better. We 
wheel's going to be light here. Okay, now I want to draw another circle. Let's try this again. This is going to be the inside. Select both of these. Screw it up, just a little bit bigger. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to add some text onto the dial. I'm going to take this iPod text and, and do a copy. Come down here and do a paste. I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see what I'm doing. And we're going to change this text to menu. I'm going to center this up on my dial. Go ahead and push this up. change the color to white there we go next thing we're going to do is uh, draw some play symbols and some pause symbols here uh, I'm going to draw a rectangle or not a rectangle I mean a, a triangle I'll hold the control key down to keep this thing straight okay next I'll draw Couple rectangles. I want to make sure that my uh, radii are turned off. There we go. And I'll duplicate this. Okay, I'll come over on this side and we'll move it right here. Okay, now I'm going to group this together. We're going to change its scale. Line centers. Okay, I'll duplicate this. Slide this over to the black so you can see here. And we'll zoom in on this. Okay, I'll ungroup it. And we'll get rid of that one, push this out, and we'll duplicate this one. So we'll make our forward and backward symbols. We'll duplicate this. Slide this over here. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this, we'll mirror this, we'll throw it over to the other side, just like so. Okay, and that's pretty much the iPod right now. Now if you're satisfied with that, you can stop, or if you want to add a little bling to it, we can duplicate the body, slide this thing down. Okay, now we'll add a gradient to this. Okay, we'll select the stroke. Make sure it has a gradient. We'll just put this right beside here. like that. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Get this whole thing here. And we'll group it together. I'll push this up just a little bit so you guys can see this here. And there's your iPod. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.